Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video will be a little Q&A video, but first I'll just talk about this piece that you're just seeing right now. This is just a quick digital paint over I did on paint tool side of one of my drawings from my sketchbook. It's supposed to be like a mermaid alien girl, I can't really decide which. I sort of went more mermaid so I do little bubbles at the end, but yeah. The original sketch was just done in my A6 sketchbook with my Pentel pocket brush pen. I uh, hope you liked the video, well the drawing and I'll get into the questions. So the first one is Squidly Diddly and they put, yay I love arty Q&A's, uh, so do I, so that's why I thought I'd do one. And first question, do you prefer traditional drawing or digital? I prefer traditional, that's what I first learnt to do and digital takes me forever for some reason and I just always end up going back to doing traditional. Like with one of my mermaid pieces I did, I mentioned in the video then I started doing it tradi traditional and then I went to digital and then because it was just taking so long, it took me like two and a half hours to get halfway through the picture and I just like, no this is taking too long so I went back to doing it traditional and ended up doing the watercolour one. But yeah, so traditional. Next is, how long have you been drawing? Um, as long as I can remember, but for serious drawing, probably since I was about 14, 15, so around 10 years. I didn't really decide I wanted to do art until end of high school, college time, like doing A-levels and everything, so around 10 years seriously, I guess. Excuse me. <coughs> um, yeah. How long does an average piece take you to complete? Um, around two and a half hours normally. It depends on the piece. Um, like watercolour ones take me maybe half an hour, some of them, if they're slightly smaller. Um, or to two, up to two hours, but I have done pieces that have taken me seven and a half hours, I've done pieces that have taken me four, so it, it depends what I'm doing. Marker ones tend to take me around half an hour to an hour, again depending on the piece, and I'm a bit little, a bit, little bit lazy and I don't really do backgrounds as much as I want to, so yeah, it, it depends. Um, <coughs> do you draw more today than you did in the past, or do you draw less? Um, uh, I suppose I draw less, but I have a child now, so I don't really have as much time to draw. Because I used to draw like pretty much all day. I'd take a sketchbook out with me, and even when I went to go meet people, I'd be drawing. When I first got with my husband, we went to a New Year's party, and I, I sat drawing on the tablecloth. Because I, I don't really do parties, but everyone seemed to be interested and came over and was like, Oh, what are you doing? Oh, that's really nice. I was like, Yeah. <laughs> Sorry I'm being a little bit rude, but I get awkward at parties and any social events, so yeah. Um, what inspires you to not just make art, but to be a better artist? Um, to make art, I suppose everything around me, and that really doesn't help, but it's like what I'm going through in my life that's influenced some pieces of art. I can see a picture online and I'm like, oh, that looks really nice, I want to do something like that. Like if I see a really nice landscape, then sometimes I want to paint it or I want to paint something um, inspired by that. But I suppose it's more people and things that are going on around me inspire me. And But to be a better artist, it's actually other people. I, I want to improve to make myself feel happy, but it's more... I see other people's art and I'm like, oh wow, that's a really cool, like, Lowish and um, Audra Eau Claire. I really like their styles and I'm like, I really want to push myself to be able to get out there. And I want my art to help other people because I've seen artists work and some people's work just really, it helps me get through certain things just watching their YouTube videos as they draw it or just looking at a piece of art that just really gets to you. That's... I really like that sort of stuff, so that makes me want to be a better artist to be like that for some people. Or just to inspire people, that makes me want to be a better artist so then I can help inspire other people to be artists, if you get what I mean. So, yeah. Um, that's all of their questions. Thank you for so many questions. <laughs> um, next is this Tanishi Life. And um, Do you ever get days where you try to draw or paint but you just can't get into it? Yes, all the time. <laughs> constantly. That's a really big problem I have at the moment. Um, I struggle to get motivated a lot more now, mainly because I'm more tired than I used to be. And yeah, I 
it is it can be difficult but then there's i have a random day where i just i want to paint all day and i want to draw constantly and i can't do it because i'm busy that day or like my little girl she's teething so the one day i'm really inspired to paint and she's just in pain all day and i'm like no i can't i'm not going to you're more important than the drawing so uh, yeah i get a lot of those days a lot more than i used to now but yeah um I think yep that's all of your question um you should get back into drawing i will put a little caption of your comment on the screen but even if you don't think you're very good at drawing you should get back into it even if it's just little doodles it's still i find art to be quite a soothing thing for me and it helps me get through a lot of problems just drawing out my emotions even if they turn out absolutely rubbish which a lot of mine do i just don't show them which i I suppose I could show them more. If people want to see my really bad ones that I just kind of leave to the side and don't finish, then yeah, let me know. But yeah. Next is Black Summer Colouring. Thank you for your question. What's your biggest source of inspiration? Um, I touched on that in the previous one a little bit, but my biggest source, um, I think that would be my family and like my emotional experiences at the time. Because I tend to, if I'm in a happy mood, I do happier work. And I've had things in the past that have gone on and they've influenced my work a lot. So it's probably like my family and emotional state that I'm in at the time. Which I suppose that doesn't, it's not very clear, but yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> have you ever found an art material that just isn't your thing? Um, Not really, not yet. I Well oil paints I've, but I've only ever tried those once and I was about 15 and I didn't know what I was doing with them at all I was just I saw them and I was like oh someone actually gave me them so I was like oh I really want to try these and then it's like I ruined some of my brushes granted at that time they weren't very good brushes but um I really want to try those again um unless you can count digital art then I think that's just not my thing I do enjoy doing it I guess it's just I, I'd rather go back to traditional um, how do you balance real life, YouTube and art? I struggle a lot. Before I had Leia, I had a diary and I kept track and I set days and a calendar on my wall as well. I set days for doing drawing, days for editing and I was really, really organised with that and I'd tell people to bugger off, I'm not coming out today, I'm doing work. And then as soon as I had her, that was it. It was just everything got blown out the window because there is no time scales that are free I can't guarantee I'm gonna have this time free because like she doesn't even have the same bedtime every night yet and because she's only seven months old it's at the minute it's, it's very difficult I it's I want to do more art but then it's like well I need to record it for YouTube so then that takes an extra half an hour well it's not even that long really most of the time but setting up to record takes extra time and then that extra time is like I, I really need to go to bed soon because I have to do it late at night because she gets up so early in the morning and I don't want to be too tired and start snapping at her because I've stayed up myself and you, you know what I mean so it's I do struggle to balance it at the moment it's getting easier and now she's getting older I got around it for the first couple of weeks because I had loads of videos stacked up ready and they were just scheduled to come out but I really wish I'd kept on top of it then but that's a mistake I've done, made, and now I'm dealing with it and I'm trying to catch up again. So at the minute, it's as soon as I have a free day, like when my husband's off work, I try and get as many videos as I can recorded and artwork as I can done. And yeah, just get that. I'm trying to get up in advance. Um, yep. And Art of Chelsea asked, what do you do for a living? I'm a stay-at-home mum and a stay-at-home artist at the moment, though more the mum part. Luckily, I'm very lucky to have a husband that supports me, so I can stay at home with Leia. And I'm not back into work yet anyway, because I would still be on maternity leave, but um, I don't plan on going back to work until I've had more kids, because I want to have at least like two more, though I'm, I'm not going to hold myself to that. We'll see how it goes. Um, but if I have to go back to work, I will go back to work and I'll do any job I need to to pay the bills. Don't get me wrong there. Not that I don't want to work, it's just I'm I'm lucky enough to have someone to support me so I don't have to and we don't act, we can afford for me not to at the moment. 
so I can focus on doing art, which I'm hoping next year I can start going to conventions so I can start doing a job, proper job in art and getting money in. Whereas at the minute, like commissions are slow, so it's, yeah. Um, what is your favorite medium? At the moment, it's watercolor. If you asked me when I was pregnant, it would have been acrylic paints because I was actually doing acrylic paint. I was doing an acrylic painting while I was pregnant and while I was in labor which I still need to finish that but yeah um it it changes at the minute it's watercolor but I do love my markers and I'm really liking my Pentel brush pen at the moment so a medium you have never tried um powder paints which is only something I've recently found out about because um my stepdaughter came back from school and she was like oh we we use these today in art and I'm like what what are they and she just said they're like these powder paints that you can use them like watercolor or something so I think I might have to try those one day but until I found out about those I, I don't know really I've tried quite a lot of different ones because all of my art classes at school and college and some in uni were all about experimenting so I've done print I've digital art loads of different traditional art um, I suppose you could say I haven't properly tried oil paints but I have actually tried them slightly so I can't say I've never tried them and how much time do you spend doing art each week not as much as I'd like um, probably three to four hours of solid time I can guarantee I'll do around that much every week but then some weeks I do more some weeks I do a little bit less like it, it's a bit difficult to do it at the minute I'd like to spend more time on it but we're also in the process of trying to move house and stuff like that so it's it's really difficult to get the time at the moment so that not really much that's probably a bit of a confession to that one I should be doing a lot more than I am but yeah sorry <laughs> Um, yep, anyway, that's all of the questions now, so I hope you found this interesting in some way. Um, a few little uh, shameful admitting of how little artwork I actually do in a week, which probably isn't really good to put out on here, but yeah, hopefully that'll go up soon. So next time I do a Q&A, and if I get asked that question, I can say, yeah, I do like 30 hours a week. No, that's probably a bit too much, but yeah, you get what I mean. Anyway. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoyed the finished artwork and I've actually got a more detailed video coming up on Sunday which is why there's only this little quick one right now. Well, I suppose it's not really very quick after all this talking but yeah, anyway. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on Sunday so please like and subscribe and yeah, bye!